Don't get me wrong. I love gray squirrels and have rehabilitated hundreds, but gray squirrels are taking over the world. In many countries, including the United States and Great Britain, they are having food wars with other species and outcompeting them. Gray squirrels are wrecking havoc on red squirrel populations. And I'm going to show you how serious this problem is. Gray squirrels are flexible, adaptative, and very clever. Ever tried to keep one out of your bird feeders? Well, those traits help them greatly in establishing new territory. An invasive species is a plant or animal, like a squirrel, not native to a specific location. These species often spread rapidly, outcompeting native species for resources, which can lead to a decline in biodiversity. This is kind of a rough map, but here we have the native territory of the eastern gray squirrel in red, and for comparison, the western gray squirrel in blue. In the U.S., the eastern gray squirrel has significantly expanded their territory, and in a moment we will look at their impact in Europe. Red squirrels prefer conifers and mixed forests and are more commonly found in areas with a high density of evergreen trees, like the Rocky Mountain states, upper Midwest and Northeast. They are less likely to be found in urban environments compared to gray squirrels. So what exactly are the challenges that red squirrels are facing? First off, habitat loss. As urban areas expand and forests get cut down, red squirrels are losing their homes. But that's not all. Food competition is a major issue also. Gray squirrels are bigger and more aggressive, which means they can outcompete red squirrels for nuts and seeds, their primary food source. And if that wasn't enough, gray squirrels also carry diseases like the squirrel pox virus, which is often deadly to red squirrels. Grays also get squirrel pox, but don't suffer such serious losses. This combination of factors is creating a perfect storm for the red squirrel population, pushing them closer to being endangered in some areas. Speaking of squirrel pox, I talk about it in my latest book and ways we can give supportive care to squirrels that are suffering from this disease. Hi, I'm Amy. Welcome to my channel where I talk about wildlife conservation and rehabilitation as well as organic gardening. My latest wildlife book is all about squirrels. It covers both tree squirrels and ground squirrels, rehab and ground squirrel rehabilitation and things like feeding and diseases. You can check out my list of books in the description. Here we have the European red squirrel, which is a cousin to the American red, but a different species. They are native to Europe, Serbia, Mongolia, and Northwest China. They are considered threatened in many parts of Great Britain. You can see on this progressive map how their numbers have been reduced over time. Gray squirrels were introduced into the UK in the late 19th century, and boy, did they adapt quickly. They thrived in the new environment, multiplying rapidly. Meanwhile, red squirrels, which are native to the UK, began to struggle. In some areas, they've almost completely vanished. The impact goes beyond just the squirrels, though. It affects the entire ecosystem, as these guys play a crucial role in forest health and helping to disperse seeds. Gray squirrels were first introduced to Britain in the 1870s as fashionable additions to estates. Their antics were enjoyable, and some people used them for sport hunting. Go have sex, squirrels! <laughs> in 1921, it was reported in the London Times that the Zoological Society had released eastern gray squirrels as attractions to breed in Regent's Park. Well, that worked, and the UK population of gray squirrels grew and grew and grew. Now, one of the control methods being investigated is fertility controls. 
scientists are developing an oral contraceptive for the gray squirrel to help reduce populations and allow the red squirrel to naturally rebound. Another way to help red squirrels is to focus on healthy conifer forests. Red squirrels eat seeds, nuts, fungi, and tree shoots. They especially like pine seeds, but also eat seeds from spruce, larch, and other cone-bearing trees. Unfortunately, another control method is trapping and disposing of animals. At Fox Run, we don't believe this is a viable method. Often animals die in an inhumane way, and studies have proven that this actually can cause populations to increase. This is because when animals feel a loss in population, they tend to breed more. When rehabilitating squirrels, the different species need to be raised separately, since squirrels can be territorial and aggressive to others. Choose release locations carefully and make sure natural foods are abundant. Thanks for watching and be sure to hit the like button. Let me know in the comments what species of squirrels live in your neck of the woods.